Hey guys, Piff here, and I'm going to show you guys how to do the Origins Easter Egg. Now, for the sake of time, and since I'm not the first one to do a video about this, I'm going to try to do it in the shortest amount of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that you know how to build the staffs, make them ultimate. If you do not, I'll have annotations across the top to tell you guys how to do that. And after that, you're going to have to have the Napalm Monkeys. And if you guys don't know how to do that, I can try to explain it. But once you have all those things, you can now do the Easter Egg. Now you have to have all the ultimate staffs. Then you're going to want to go down to the bottom of the staff room and make sure all that the left blue things are lined up and the lights will start blinking white. Now when this happens, this means that you guys are going to now have to place your ultimate staffs in a bunch of different locations. Now I have the ice staff, so I'm going to have to put mine in the robot that's in the church. The wind staff is going to go in the middle in Odin, I believe he's called. And then the far right one on spawn is going to be Thor and the lightning staff has to go there. And then the fire staff is going to have to go in the start in the bottom staff room. Now, once you have done this, this is going to be the second step. Or oh, there's a bunch of steps you have to do, but this is going to be one of the steps. Now I'm running to try to make sure I get into the right foot uh, to be able to put the staff in the robot. Um, like I said, you're going to have to have the staffs. They're going to have to be all ultimate. Once that happens, you're going to be able to begin on the Easter egg. Uh, technically, that is one of the steps, but I believe most people know how to do that now because that's been something a lot of people have been doing, and I've done a lot of videos covering it, so I don't see the point of doing it in the Easter egg video. If you want to know, you can look for some videos on that. Now, I'm up in the robot, and I'm going to find the spot. I was freaking out. I didn't know if I lost it, but there it is right there. I'm going to put my staff in there. Uh, that's the ice. That's the one on the church, like I said, and everybody's just going to have to do that in the robots and put their staffs in. Now... At this point, what you're going to want to do is someone's not, you're going to have to find the robot that has the glowing foot. And you're going to get into the robot and you're going to flip a switch. And then when that happens, the person that has the napalm monkeys is going to throw it on the top of this roof right here. And as you guys see, a mortar came in and blew that up. Now we have opened the seal. We have broke the seal. Once you have broke the seal, you're going to want to have the Maxis Strom built. And you're going to want to throw it up and it's going to go bound into the bottom. And it's going to trigger the next step that you're going to have to do. So you have to know how to make the Maxis drone as well. There's three parts around the map so you guys can make that. Now when this happens, it's going to spawn in a lot of Panzers. So you're going to want to make sure that you have ammo and good guns. Now after this, I do not have this step. Uh, my boy Casper Z did this. But basically what's going to happen is you're going to have to get into Zombie Blood. I recommend leaving the one at spawn there. And you're going to have to look up in the sky and shoot down a plane that's highlighted in red. It's just like trying to find the fire staff. What it's going to do is it's going to drop a beast. And the beast is going to run around in circles around the Pack-a-Punch machine. And you're going to have to be in zombie blood to see him and kill him. So that's going to be the next step. You're going to want to kill him in zombie blood. Uh, so make sure, you know, just run circles around the outside of the pack where their stairs are. That's where he spawns. And, uh, yeah, you're going to be in zombie blood to see him, and you just shoot him. Having the fire staff, I've, you know, learned that that's going to be the best staff to kill him. Now, once you have done that, um, you're going to have to have your fist. And you're going to want these anyways to get the napalm monkeys, but you're going to want that. And you're going to want everybody on the team is going to have to get a bunch of kills down at the bottom of the staff room. As you guys can see, now I got what I like to call the fist of fury. And you guys are going to see what's happened. They're basically upgraded. Like I said, everybody that's doing the Easter egg is going to have to get these. And this is at the bottom of the staff room. And you saw the pebble. I grabbed the pebble uh, or the slab, whatever you want to call it. And now I have the Fist of Fury. And once you have the Fist of Fury, what you're going to want to do is now everybody's going to have to go into Argatha and put their staffs into their designated area. Now, once you have done that, there's going to be this little blue circle right here where everybody's going to want to punch and kill zombies on top of it. Now, once you have done this and you have collected enough souls, as you guys are going to see, something's going to happen. Now... This scene right here is not the end of the Easter egg. Technically, it's the end, but if you want to see the end cut scene, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have a Maxis drone on you when you get down here. So I recommend having monkeys, throw it off to the side, get all the zombies away, and you're going to want to throw the Maxis drone up to the top uh, of Argatha. I believe it's Argatha, or it's... I don't know exactly what it is, but on, uh, you guys will see in a second. Um, the Easter egg's done. You're going to want to throw the Maxis drone up there. Once you have done that, that's going to trigger the cut scene. And you have now finished the game, done the Easter egg, got the cutscene, see how zombies ends or begins, whatever you want to say. But um, yeah, I'm not going to show that to you guys because uh, I'm pretty sure most people want to learn how to do the Easter egg and they don't want to ruin it for them if they haven't seen the cut end cutscene yet. But I will be doing a video breakdown on the end cutscene. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Uh, if this video helped you out and you enjoyed it, if you could subscribe, I'd much appreciate that. Also, I want to give a huge shout out uh, to Casper Z, Grim. 
and Wubba Bear, we were able to do the Easter egg in about an hour and 15 minutes. So if you have people that are knowledgeable on the staffs, that's the main part is just building the staffs and making them ultimate. Um, if you know people that can do that really quick, you could do this Easter egg in about an hour. So um, huge shout out to those guys. And uh, yeah, if you're a subscriber, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll, I'll try to help you out to the best of my ability. And uh, yeah, you guys also, if you guys want to let me know anything, you guys could do that over at Twitter, at Sir Piffington. That's with two N's. And more videos coming soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.